Morning guys. Nice bright. Right, let's see if I can darken this up. Bright, bright, dark morning. So anyway, morning. Welcome back. <clears throat> Half fast. Seven the one nine. Back at you guys with another video. Truck's locked, which is good. Um, yeah, got a, another project, of course, because why not? Went and picked it up last night. Took the mega cab. Well, it's hard to see because the sun, but took the mega cab out last night for about I don't know. 300 mile drive um, I do want to do a, a review update of the Ram man locking hubs because I got about 3,500 miles on them <clears throat> so um, yeah last night went and uh, picked up the kid a bike what do you guys think how's it look how's it look Or how does it look? I gotta darken that up. It's a 2014 Kawasaki 450. Just kidding. I don't do Kawasaki crap. <clears throat> it's a 2014 Honda 450. As you can see right there. 2014 Honda CRF 450R with some green ugly plastics so I bought it as you can see you know me I like to buy projects because I don't have a life anyway I bought it went last night drove about a hundred miles there hundred miles back picked it up um, yeah, guy had it on Craigslist, and he had it on offer up. He had it on offer up for, I don't know, like seven days. And, uh, he just couldn't meet anybody, basically. Uh, people wanted to come during the day, people wanted to go certain times, and he just works seven days a week. Um, doesn't get home till after five. So I was like, well, screw it, I'm gonna go get it. Uh, cause the 450X, a lady flaked out, and then when I was on my way to go get this, <clears throat> the lady messaged me and was like, Oh, uh, I still have the bike, sorry I was ill, blah, 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 and, uh, she's like, um, uh, my husband sent it to the shop, and it'll be available for sale in three weeks, which means they're gonna go ride it. They're going to go put hours on it. They're going to go do whatever. They're going to go to their camping trips and whatever probably for the rest of the year. Um, because to do a service on it doesn't take three weeks. Oil change, air filter, blah, blah, blah. But anyway. Um, so yeah, I said, yeah, I'm still interested, which I'm not. But because she's a flake, I'm going to flake on her. I'm going to try to meet her somewhere. I'm going to try to set up a couple days just because... She's stupid, or he, whatever it is. All right, anyway, got this bike knowing that it needed a clutch. Said it needed a clutch is what he said on the listing. I messaged him, said, uh, why does it need a clutch or, or whatever. I forget what I said. Like, hey, I'm interested in the bike, yada, yada. What's wrong with it? He says it needs a clutch. Clutch, clutch baskets uh, uh, grooved. And All right, battery died. Anyway, the clutch basket, he told me was, he put new, he said he put new clutches in it, and he said the clutch basket was bad, needed replaced, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, and I was like, all right, are you sure? I didn't really trust the kid or the guy. I didn't know there was who he was. But anyway, you see all those grooves. Those grooves are bad um, because then it, chatters and then they start creating steps 
Not sure if you can see how, I guess I'll try to describe it as best as I can. So your clutch disc wanna slide <clears throat> in those fingers freely. I don't know if I can do this or not. Oh, so nasty. Anyway, your clutch discs have the little fins, whatever. <clears throat> so these are the fibers. Oh, well, I'm just going to get dirty. I don't care. So as you can see, pretty pretty new clutches. Um, but you can see they're chattered too. So <clears throat> I'm ordering a whole clutch basket kit. Um, everything. It's like 250 bucks. Wisco clutch basket <clears throat> and clutches, steels, springs. So, um, as you can see, the steels, they ride on the inside drum. Let's see if I can't clean this up a little bit. So, yeah, he said that the, the clutches were just replaced, which they look good. They don't look cooked. They don't look burnt. Um, they're actually pretty good steels, um, a good quality steel. Oh man, I can't sit like this. So anyway, you got the, the friction and you got the steel. Obviously, they bite into each other like a clutch does. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, let's get to this. So, um... I was telling him last night, I was like, well, you know, it's going to need new clutches. And he's like, no, it won't need new clutches because I just put brand new clutches in there. And I'm like, yeah, but if it's got what you say, then it's going to have damage on the actual clutches themselves. Not sure if you can see that. It's kind of shiny. Anyway, uh, what happens is that these get get fatter and they start riding inside here and when your pressure plate applies pressure it gets into these steps right here and basically makes it to where it won't disengage um, the clutches so it'll be really hard really like almost impossible for it to uh, to work basically um, <clears throat> but anyway, um, yeah, this, the drum is fine. Everything looks good on the drum. The pressure plate looks good. Um, tore it apart last night. The kid in me. Everything in here. There's no, there's no chopping or nothing in here. Um, because this is where the steels ride. So the steels will just slip. But anyway, um... Yeah, everything's good. It's it's really mostly just dirty. Um, everything's pretty nasty. And I think it's because <clears throat> this was getting so chopped up that the clutches wouldn't disengage. And so when he would ride it, it would just eat through the clutches. <clears throat> so, not to mention uh, the metal. But anyway... Everything seems to be good in here. Um, I'll have to read the manual because this whole apparatus came out. Um, which I'm assuming it should go in just the way I have it. Um, which I'm pretty sure that's the way it goes. But not 100% sure. Um, ordered a new gasket. <clears throat> ordered a new gasket. Water pump. Water pump took it apart. Everything looks good in there. Um, it does have a... He had a recluse clutch assembly in there. And he said he took it out because it was just a pain in the butt. Constant adjusting or whatever he said. So he just left the clutch um, that cover on. Um... Which I don't know if it affects it not having the recluse clutch or if it's factory. So we're going to do all this and hopefully um, that's not the problem. But I'm sure it's not. It's got to be the basket. So anyway, um, yeah, that's what we got. So I got clutch basket on order. 
clutches, the bearings good. There, there's nothing, nothing wrong with anything. Um, the only thing I didn't want is I didn't want a Wisco clutch, but everybody seems to be back ordered on the Henson clutch basket. And since I figure it's my kid, um, he's he's not going to be you know dumping the clutch and basically racing it. Um, but yeah, so bike is. I don't want to say it's clapped out, but it seems to have aftermarket um, radiators, which are just uh, like $150 radiators. Um, the bracket seems to be broken on this one. Uh, buddy at work said he'll weld it, um, but I might just order new radiators because the same radiator and the same hose kit and everything... I think I can get the whole kit and everything for like 105 bucks. So I got plastics coming, gasket, clutch basket, clutches. Um, fork seals are coming because the fork seals are leaking. These are air forks, which I didn't want, but it's just to go cruise. Um, it says it's got tusk wheels. Tusk impact wheels which I'm sure are not the most expensive wheel out there um, doesn't really say the hubs but or at least it doesn't say on that hub so yeah so it's a tusk a tusk wheel set basically so rim rim and uh, everything but anyway, so new plastics will be here. I think everything's going to be here on uh, next Wednesday. So which gives me time to, to clean up everything on it. Um, pull all the plastics off. Pull all the stickers off. Um, not sure if we're going to run this seat cover or not. You'll probably have to run it enjoy manufacturing whatever um yeah i'm sure these plastics look cool when they're brand new but these things are faded and baked and cooked so those are going to come off stock exhaust stock exhaust looks a little bit bent on this side um kind of wanting to go to a single um, there's a guy on offer up selling almost a brand new single, uh, side FMF exhaust, which I'd like to go. You can see the thing's been stitched before. All the zip ties, zip ties, zip ties, zip ties, zip tie. He told me, he did tell me he looped it. Um, which brings me to the next thing. He looped it and he gave me this Yoshimura exhaust. And, uh, yeah, I don't really know. He said that uh, for 70 bucks, I could send it into Yoshimura and they could put new caps on it, carbon fiber caps, on this. Ouch, cut me. <laughs> um, anyway, um, they said that he, they can refurbish this, so he threw this in with the bike. He wasn't going to. Um, but anyway, whatever. It's a pretty, pretty beat up bike, but you guys know me. I'll make it great again. So, I'm going to see, I'll contact Yoshimura and, uh, see if, what they can do for me. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see how that works. Not sure how that's supposed to go, but... Um, yeah, kid definitely rode this bike, rode it hard, and, uh, did not put it away wet, he just rode it. Uh, but he did say the bike was the bottom end, everything was rebuilt about 10 hours ago, and then he put new clutches in, 
took it to the dunes, rode it, and it started having that problem. And uh, he said that he noticed when he put the clutches in that it did have those those grooves in there. But anyway, um, but he didn't have time to order a new clutch basket, so he just threw the clutches in and sent it, which is why I'm thinking it's so nasty. Um, but yeah, tires are tires are good. As far as I know, Max's tire, whatever. It seems like this is a Tusk edition bike. <laughs> Kid has everything as Tusk. Uh, tusk brake covers. Um, it is fuel injected. Fuel injected back here. I suppose the fuel pumps up up there in the tank. But anyway, um, we fired it up. Kid started it. Kid Kid seems to be pretty happy. Um, like I said, Wednesday, I'm thinking t it should be Tuesday. I should get most of the parts and then Wednesday I'll get the plastics and the gasket. The gasket's what's going to be taking me a while to get. So anyway, um, yeah, that's going to be it for this video guys. Um, you know me, I'll do little update videos on this. So just today I'm just going to blow a can of uh brake clean clean everything out and uh yeah maybe just start taking it apart taking all the plastics off and uh clean the air filter air filter doesn't look too bad so um probably just clean it up and just get it ready to put stuff on um anyway guys that's gonna be it stay tuned for that bike video um i want to go riding this morning so i'm probably gonna go for a quick little ride in about an hour and then uh, I don't know uh, tomorrow Saturday morning I got a big project so I'll film that and uh, yeah go from there so stick in stay tuned for this project video this project of this bike the 14 CRF 450 um, I think we paid more than we should have, but it is what it is. Parts are cheap. By the time we're said and done, I think we'll have a really good running nice bike for cheaper than we could have bought it, if that makes sense. Um, because I could have bought a, another bike, and that bike could need a whole bottom in. And, you know, maybe we would have got one ride out of it, and the whole bottom in would have blown. Whereas this one... At least I'm going through it, and it's not too expensive. So, all right, guys. See you guys on the next video. Peace out.